Well, here's this um, analog device is HNC 742A board again, and third time I've tried it. Um, gone to great lengths to solder it all up, great lengths to check the database over and over again, and I just could not get it to work. So it's in the bin. And uh, what I've done instead is um, I've gone to this device by um, Corvo, which is the uh, Corvo TQM879028 variable gain amplifier. Uh, it does a similar sort of thing as the other board, but it works. <laughs> it's fantastic. And the thing that motivated me to go to this, uh, even though this board is tuned to 2150 megahertz, uh, I thought I'd give it a go because the customer service at Corvo was uh, so good when I asked them about another problem that it inspired me to look up their pro products on the filters and to search for Corvo filters, um, to search for Corvo products in preference to anything else. And uh, yeah, I came up with this evaluation board and it's cheap. So yeah, everything's good. Uh, so here we are, it's going through my other. Lenoise amplifier um, first and then cascading yeah, into this um, device and um, I'm monitoring it all on the Lime SDR with a um, spectral analyzer and if we look at the screen we've got um, variable gain <coughs> um, on Windows which is really nice so if I turn this slider up just gradually don't want to give it any great shocks because it um, crashes my phone unfortunately. So just gradually turn it up. I'm monitoring it on the phone as well. And we should see a uh, change in the um, spectrum on the water waterfall there. Just um, edge it up slowly. And we should, yeah, we should see some intensity in the colour. And um, a better signal on my phone as well. So I'm monitoring this on my phone over here. So at the moment it's on um, minus 111 decibels, uh, dBMs. And um, keep edging it up a little bit. Right, so the intensity's got um, greater on the screen, which indicates a, a stronger signal, and uh, the DBM's gone down to um, minus 102. And um, the beauty with this gadget is that I don't have to have the phone right next to my antenna anymore. Uh, the reason for that is that this um, device operates at higher power. It operates at a massive half a watt compared to uh, this board here which was operating at about 0.1 watts so the combined power is about 0.6 watts so I can move my phone away from the antenna now which is great so I can actually move around the room and go into other rooms even um, <clears throat> I can actually nudge this here up a little bit more let's take it up see if we can get it below or above minus 100 dBMs. Just bit by bit, just nice and gently. Let's take it up to four. And uh, if we look at the phone, we're on minus 102. Again, I can pick this phone up and I can, I can move it around now. And you can see the view I've got from my window and um, still got minus 102 dBm which is great so that's um, much more of a distance away from the antenna so I'm really pleased with that that's um, obviously a step in the right direction that down again and uh, whilst we're here oh, pop that up there. so it's on a minus 100 let's just see if I can get it squeeze a little bit more got to be a little bit careful I don't want to get feedback between the um, two antennas so let's zoom in on that it's 
So I'm going to just increase this up to minus 3.5. Just see if we can get it better than 100. Three. Come on, you can do it. Just um, baby steps, 2.5. There we are, minus 93 dBm. Notice that um, it's, the bars on the top have gone down, but the, um, the actual power, uh, the dBm, has gone up. So there we are, got lots of um, power being transmitted from the antenna now, and the phone is. Um, responding really nicely. Again I can move around, I can go into other rooms now, so it's like um, performance wise it's, um, it's a lot better. <laughs>